Byte is shaking up the EV industry once again with its groundbreaking plug-in hybrid powertrain, setting new benchmarks in efficiency and performance with a completely reimagined engine and transmission. This innovation promises record-breaking features but can buy truly deliver on its bold claims? And when will car enthusiasts get their hands on this game-changing technology? Stay with us as we uncover everything about this revolutionary leap and what's in store for the, the near future, enjoying the content. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and turn on notifications so you never miss out on our latest updates. Just a few months ago, ByD introduced its fifth generation, DM Plug-in Hybrid Powertrain. A true game changer in the world of electrified vehicles available in three distinct variants. The efficient DMI, the high performance DMP, and the rugged off road. DMO, this powertrain redefines hybrid technology. Its staggering thermal efficiency of 46.06% is unmatched, and it boasts the world's lowest fuel consumption at just 2.9 L per 100 km, with an astonishing driving range of 2,000 km. This hybrid system is the result of years of development meticulously designed alongside BIDE's cutting-edge battery technology. The first lucky models to receive this innovation, the sleek BIDE Chin LDMI and the sporty SEAL 06 DMI, before diving into these exciting new models. Let's rewind and explore how BD became a powerhouse in electric mobility founded in 1995 in Shenzhen, China, by Wang Chan Fu Biwadidi, originally specialized in rechargeable batteries. However, in 2003, the company made a bold move into the automotive world, launching its first vehicle, the BDF3, a compact sedan that quickly gained popularity for its affordability and fuel efficiency. Then in 2008, BYD revolutionized the market with the F3DM, one of the world's first plug-in hybrids setting the stage for its electric future, meet the BYD Kinnel DMI, and SEAL Aero 6 DMI fast forward to today. And by ID's latest creations, the Chanel DMI and SEAL 06 DMI are making waves. The Chanel DMI, a stylish sedan that rivals the Toyota Camry, comes with a 1.5 L4 cylinder, naturally aspirated engine paired with an electric motor available in either 120 kWh or 160 kWh configurations. Battery options range from 10 Daru 8 quad hours to 1587 quad hours, delivering an electric only range of 80 to 120 kilometers, depending on the model. These powertrains aren't just concepts. They are already in full production, ready for customers eager to experience the next evolution of hybrid technology. Byte isn't just following trends, it's setting them. Are we witnessing the future of hybrid mobility? One thing's for sure, the competition is officially on notice. BD's stock has since experienced a boost with its shares jumping almost 7% a week after it was launched. Byte isn't just driving. They're speeding past the competition. CLSA has some predictions that by 2026, BYD will enter the top five automakers in the world with 92 octane gasoline priced at 7.4 UN, which is equivalent to $15 per liter. Running costs, are around 0.25 yuan per kilometer. This brings it closer to the cost of pure electric vehicles, which average about 0.16 yuan per kilometer. BYD pioneered the plug-in technology in 2008 by launching its first hybrid car, but automakers have since released their own cars with ranges as high as 2,000 kilon, for example. On May 24th, Ion introduced the L7 boasting a 254 kilon range, Fuel consumption of 3.8 L per 100 km engine thermal efficiency of 41.8% in March. J Auto also revealed a hybrid system offering a range of over 2,000 km fuel consumption, as low as 2 L per 100 km, and thermal efficiency of above 46%. Aside from local brands, BYD is also competing with Toyota and Honda. While Toyota and Honda's hybrid engines have a thermal efficiency of around 41% BYD's fifth generation. DM engine stands out with a higher efficiency of 46.6% BYD's. Cutting edge technology marks a major step forward in the global hybrid vehicle market, and the Chinese company is likely to pull even further ahead of its rivals. However, this sudden price drop sparked protests among customers who had already paid the higher price and had waited months for delivery with banners in hand. These frustrated buyers expressed their dissatisfaction feeling that BYD 
had undervalued their commitment and loyalty. In spite of all these controversies, one thing is clear. Bide takes the lead in the EV industry. Generally, independent mechanics are known for their more individualized care and cheaper rates, but they often have difficulty maining the equipment and diagnostic software required for extensive repairs. Self-employed mechanics frequently take great pride in their work and cultivate enduring bonds with their clients. However, these mechanics might be limited in the range of services they can offer if they do not have access to the relevant data in updates from manufacturers as a result of proprietary software. The constraints to accessing these tools change the entire landscape of auto maintenance and repair. This simply means that these mechanics risk losing customers and the customers themselves would spend more on repairs. The auto repair landscape is evolving and not necessarily for the better in an attempt to reduce the impact on independent technicians. Some automakers are providing repair information, diagnostic tools and manuals to mechanics, though often at a cost. This helps repair shops. Service EVS, but limits free access EV companies also perform many repairs remotely through software updates, reducing the need for in-person service to fill these gaps. Some deploy mobile technicians, however, completely, relying on remote fixes and mobile reps. Risk limiting independent shops' roles. As a result, some manufacturers collaborate more closely with third parties through training tools and support, customers are also worried that automakers may be economizing by sacrificing some features. This calls for urgent attention because producing vehicles that are less dependent able or have shorter lifespans could discourage customers from purchasing them in the future. This may start a cycle in which businesses cut costs without addressing the underlying problems. With quality, people may start to feel less confident in purchasing electric vehicles if cost-cutting initiatives make automobiles less dependable, and this might slow down the transition toward more environmentally friendly transportation as customers continue to hold quality and trust very dearly in their choice of automobiles. Navigating the high stakes of owning and maintaining EVS becomes crucial. It isn't uncommon for customers to want to cash in on their automobiles, one barrier, however, is that if people are made to believe electric cars are less robust, then the resale value of EVS may decrease dramatically. This decrease can cause prospective customers to avoid buying an EV, further challenging the market for these cars. It's also possible that the infrastructure for electric vehicles less, such as maintenance facilities and charging stations, won't expand quickly enough to keep up with demand if charging or maintaining an EV becomes very difficult for a person they may choose to continue driving conventional gasoline vehicles. This perception of fragility could stem from several factors, including concerns about battery degradation over time, the high cost of potential battery replacements, and uncertainties about how well other electronic components will hold up compared to traditional mechanical parts in internal combustion engines. Additionally, the rapid pace of technological advancement in the EV sector itself contributes to this concern as buyers worry that today's cutting-edge electric vehicle might become obsolete in just a few years, outpaced by newer models with significantly improved range, faster charging capabilities, and more advanced features. This fear of accelerated obsolescence can further suppress resale values, creating a vicious cycle where low residual values make consumers hesitant to purchase EVs new, which in turn affects overall adoption rates and market growth. The infrastructure challenge compounds these issues substantially. While urban areas might see relatively rapid deployment of charging stations, rural and less densely populated regions could lag significantly behind, creating charging deserts that make EV ownership impractical for large segments of the population. The maintenance aspect presents another layer of complexity, as the specialized knowledge and equipment required for EV repairs remain concentrated among dealer networks rather than independent mechanics, potentially leading to higher maintenance costs and longer repair times. This combination of perceived vehicle fragility, infrastructure gaps, and maintenance challenges creates significant psychological and practical barriers for potential buyers, who may ultimately decide that sticking with familiar gasoline technology represents a safer, more reliable choice despite the environmental benefits of electric vehicles. Without comprehensive efforts to address these concerns through better education about EV durability, guaranteed battery longevity programs, 
massive infrastructure investment, and expanded repair networks, the transition to electric mobility may proceed much more slowly than anticipated, particularly in markets where consumers have alternative transportation options or where economic considerations outweigh environmental concerns.